Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester and welcome back to a new series of War on the Sea. And I gotta say I'm excited. We are playing the United States Navy this time around. And something we have done a little differently than we've done in the last series of War on the Sea is we have upped the difficulty significantly. So we are playing on Elite Mode instead of Balance Mode. So Balance Mode is going to give you 200 command points to start off with while Elite Mode only limits you now to 140 to start with. So we're gonna have much less to play with, which means we won't be able to get as many task force out or as large of task force as we usually are, which sadly means I probably won't be able to get my battleship right off the bat, which is something I usually like to do. And it's also going to change a little bit in how the game plays. So I'm pretty excited to play on the hardest difficulty we can. And we are going to get this kicked off right now so plan of action going forward let's go ahead and look at our objectives campaign summary august 7 1942 intelligence reports indicate enemy troops have landed on guadalcanal and begun construction of an airfield once finished long-range bombers will be free to attack allied supply lines between america and australia and provide air cover for the imperial japanese navy to operate further south using new hebrides as a forward base your orders are to take back guadalcanal Build a major airfield there and clear the neighboring islands of any hostile forces. You must build a Brank 5 airfield on Guadalcanal, take control of the Guadalcanal and Florida Islands, and maintain control of Port Moresby, Milne Bay, Rennell Island, Santa Cruz Islands, and Malaita. So, pretty straightforward. We got to take over this big boy right here, which they've already occupied, and no doubt it is going to be a slugfest trying to just get this back, because I'm sure they have at least a few thousand troops on this island that we don't know about. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to spearhead the attack and go straight for the Santa Cruz Islands right now, lock those down, and then we will set up our forward operating base on the Rennell Island, and I think once we take over Rennell Island, we're just going to start going back and forth with supply ships, taking everything that we can, all the troops, all the supplies from New Hebrides over to Rennell Island. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get my task force all built and sent out to start this plan, and I will be right back. All right, and we have our task force ready to rock and roll, and they are already making their way up towards the Santa Cruz Islands, and no sooner do we start our little journey, we are encountered, no doubt, by submarines. So really quick before we get in, just so I can show you what we have. So we have Task Force 1 here, is gonna be our Gato and our Green Lane, heading up towards Guadalcanal, and they have their little course all set out. Hopefully we can run into some uh, Imperial Japanese Navy ships up here and start pestering them. Task Force 2, which is our merchant ships, which is uh, following closely behind Task Force 3. Good thing they went ahead. They have the troops and supplies loaded and are heading to Santa Cruz Islands to finally lock those down. And then Task Force 3, what we have is two destroyers, Old Blue and Bagley. And we have two light cruisers and two heavy cruisers with them. So they should be able to do quite a bit of damage going forward. So I'm pretty excited to be using them. But without further ado, we have our first encounter of the series and it is currently 1743 in the evening. Let's go ahead and begin and uh, get ready for this. Right away, we're gonna start having these guys go hard right to avoid these torpedoes. Because that, again, that's what I'm assuming they are. Bagley, everything. Start hard right, hard right. Get out of the, uh, get out of the way of all this certain death. And there we go. Come on, full rudder, Mr. Bagley. Torpedoes away, heading towards the Brooklyn, Philadelphia, and Pensacola. But they are in full throttle. Hopefully they're going to be able to get out of this no problem. I, I don't think there's going to be any problem here. And so far, it's uh, been working out all right. It looks like we have dodged every torpedo that has come our way. It was the right path here, and the Northampton is the last one that needs to get out of the way. And it is going to do so without any problem. That is good on the north end. And yeah, this torpedo is going to go right by the back of it. Just perfect. Exactly what we need. And we have been searching for quite some time and we have yet to locate it. We're going to go ahead and see if we can actually reach her. We can't, which means it's in the area. It's close by. Still have yet to find it. And there it is. We can officially retreat finally. Okay. 
It got away this time. That's okay. We know it's in the area, so now we need to watch out for Task Force 2. And in fact, I think I'm going to... Let's go ahead and split from the group here, Mr. Old Blue. Let's get you on a course back down to the merchant ships, and you can be their escort. So he's merged with them now, and he's going to head up, and I have no doubt that he's going to actually encounter this group again. Let's go ahead and get a nice little course set up for Task Force 3 here. Or Task Force 4, excuse me, while we await our merchants to finally get to the Santa Cruz Islands. And perfect, they have arrived. Let's go ahead, manage our cargo if we can, please. And there we go, just like that, the Santa Cruz Islands are officially under United States control. Ooh, and as we would have it, our Greenling has come across 10 ships moving very fast. Let's go ahead and load up our B-17s. So they have two 2,000, yeah, 2,000 pound HE bombs. Let's get them started this way while we can. And let's go ahead and see what the Greenling has got in store for us. Go ahead and begin. And let's see what we're actually dealing with here. Holy hell, 10 ships. Is it in fact 10? No, it's only six. You know, they're practically right in front of us, but the seas might be so rough. He's not able to actually get a good target on these. There we go. He's starting to pick them up now. And this is the, exactly the one we want. Let's go ahead and identify this for him. Go ahead and identify that as the Miyoko class if we can. He is going to fire three torpedoes at a one degree angle. And he's at 90%, 93% right now. 99% solution. Go ahead and fire. Wow, that is going to be awesome if we can strike all three torpedoes with this. And it is looking like that is going to be the case. If we can knock out a Miyoko right now, let me tell you something, that's going to be impressive. And these are going to be hits. Let's hope for actual detonations. Dud. Hit. Two hits. Oh, we should have sent way more. Oh my goodness, we should have sent way more. It is moderate and heavy flooding though, so hopefully... Uh, but we do have destroyers coming our way. How We can retreat right now. Let's go ahead and confirm and retreat. We managed to damage it with moderate damage and heavy flooding. It'll probably pick up soon, which is okay. We can have our... Gato over here do some course work going back and forth and try and pick it up as well now the greenlings going back and forth hopefully pick it up again and if not by them let's go ahead and get some scout planes out this way if we can there we go perfect b-17s did in fact pick them up let's go ahead and begin start where are our targets where are our targets there they are, right there. Group one, go ahead and find your target for you. There it is, perfectly ready to rock and roll. This is gonna be the group, this is gonna be the target of both groups. It's gonna be target number two. Go ahead and get you guys to form up as well. Line ahead at 100 foot intervals, form up. Same with you guys, form up. All right, let's go ahead and, if we can right now, give the attack order to our first group. We're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of time compression, get these guys on a better line if we can. That should be good. Go ahead and give them the attack order. Come at two separate angles here. By the time they get here, hopefully again, AA fire isn't gonna be too big of a deal as most of their ships have moved on. We need to knock this guy out. This is like our one and only chance that we have left to do this. And here come our B-17s overhead. Evasive maneuvers as well as AA fire have begun. Let's go ahead and get ready for this attack. Imagine bombs will be away here soon. And there we go. Bombs away, bombs away. Come on. Let's get some good hits here. Survey's gonna say. Oh, yes! 
That is one on it. Two hits. Three hits. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes! That is exactly what we needed. How are our B-17s looking right now? You guys, get out of here if you can. And there is the confirmation. Miyoko is officially sinking. Three hits. 6,000 pounds total of... HE explosive on this thing. I would hope that would take it out. Oh my goodness, that was disgusting. Wow, good job, gentlemen. Get on home and have a beer. You guys have absolutely earned it. Can we retreat out of here? Go ahead and leave, confirm, and there is the confirmation. 13,000 tons sunk on the Miyoko. Great job on the team as a whole, especially with the Greenling getting those couple of torpedoes on target, being able to cripple it enough, make it slow enough for our B-17s to come in and finish the job. RTB gentlemen, get out of there. Looks like Task Force 4 is also back. Let's go ahead and manage cargo. Load them up with supplies and troops. There we go. Perfect. And now let's set them on a course over here to Rennell Island if we can. Get them as close as possible. Plan of action right now as it stands, we have our Task Force 4 conducting its uh, patrol missions around the Santa Cruz Islands. We have the Kingfishers running around roaming trying to find anything that we can. And we have our Gato and Greenlings still ready to attack anything. Hopefully that uh, task force comes back from the IJN through this pass. That'll allow us to uh, get another couple torpedoes on target. We're going to set another course up for these guys. He's still going. And uh, as soon as we find something, we'll be right back. And here we go once again. The Greenling has encountered, it looks like, that same task force that's probably trying to uh, now come back only one less on the Miyoko side of the heavy cruiser. It looks like Task Force 4 has actually achieved half of its journey so far, so we're getting even closer to Rennell Island, which is beautiful. Love it. Let's go ahead and, what do we got? 8.56 in the morning. Let's go ahead and begin. Hopefully the seas are a little nicer this time around. They sure aren't. What are we dealing with? Oh, this is cargo ships. Oh my goodness, what do we want? We can knock out the cargo ships which is probably a little bit more important for us right now. Or we could take out the heavy cruiser and try and meet this with our task forces. And then they would be only one in and we could try and eliminate. You know what? I like that a lot better. I like that a lot better. And there we go. They are finally coming into sight. Let's go ahead and identify this if we can. And this is looking like it's going to be a Mogami class heavy cruiser. Let's please knock this out. In fact, I want to send six torpedoes its way. How many do we have? We have 11 torpedoes at a one degree spread. Six torpedoes sending this way to ensure that we can knock this out. We get only two duds, but four detonations. That'll work out beautifully. We have it targeted, but it keeps hovering around the 88 to 85% for solution value. I would really like that to get into the 90s before I send this. Although I don't know if that's going to be an option. Let's go ahead and a little try, a little time compression here. No, I don't think that's going to be an option. We're going to have to send it at uh, 88, but that's okay with me. Let's go ahead and fire. Six torpedoes away. And Greenling, go ahead and pull. Let's go forward five knots, drop down to 80 feet. Hard left rudder. In fact, I'm gonna set a course for you manually. Just head this way. An 88% solution rate when we sent these torpedoes. I hope and really feel that that is gonna be more than enough. But we're gonna find out. And here come the torpedoes fast approaching and it looks like we're actually going to get some solid hits here. Yes, we are. Let's go ahead and get a good view and get ready for this impact. No duds. Come on. Let's send this thing to the bottom. Five. 
Oh my goodness, we got five out of the six that detonated on this massive heavy cruiser. Let's go ahead and get a report for this, please. Heavy and critical. Wow, I, I'm going to say right now, I am impressed that this thing only has heavy damage sustained. As I was, ex I was fully expecting critical and critical. But it still only has heavy damage, but critical flooding. Oh my goodness. What an absolute slaughter fest that was. Come on. At the very least, we're going to get our B-17s on this guy. And he either has to RTB to repair, or he's not going to make it right now. Report. Heavy and critical. We got to stick around and find out what the deal is. Oh my goodness, and in a stroke of luck, the Mogami is sinking. Hell yes. Wow. I can't believe it. That is awesome that we got that out of the way. Are we able to retreat right now? We have 180 seconds to retreat, so... Let us hope that these guys aren't going to find us. And start this retreat. Get this Greenling out of here. I wonder if we should probably just go silent right off the bat. Greenling for ultra quiet. Repairs and reloading halted. Good. And there we go. Official confirmation being able to leave. And there it is. One Mogami sunk another 13 thousand tons to our name and three more command points gained. That puts us at 22 command points. Oh my goodness, that feels good. Now what we need to do though is we need to set a hard course over to the Guadalcanal area as well as, let's go ahead, why not, if we can, get some B-17s started this way as well to try and scout out that area and see, oh, it's still, wait. Pensacola has no aircraft to launch. There we go. Let's go ahead and get some scouting planes over here as well. Just do a one overhead and see if we can't pick that up. Try and get the B-17s over there and then another shot from the green lane if we can. Knock out the other heavy cruiser and get our Task Force 4 in there. But of course, as luck would have it, that is not going to happen because we are being attacked by a submarine. Let's go ahead and begin. Oh, that's for Task Force 4. Oh my goodness. Hard left, hard left, hard left. You guys need all the protection you can get. And there it is, right there. Go ahead. Full rudder. You guys, pick up speed as much as you can. Full blue. Get after these. Get after this son of a bitch over here. Start straightening out, and we are going. Oh my goodness, I hope. I hope we can get over this. Come on, keep turning, keep turning. Damn it, we should have went left. I mean, we should have went right instead of left. This is going to hurt if we get hit. Come on, keep turning, keep turning. You're doing great. Okay, now we need to get ready. Straight out, there we go. Good job. Keep turning a little bit. Straighten out. And now turn in. There we go. Turn in, turn in. Ever so slightly. Drain out. That should be good enough. That's going to bypass us. Right, Going to go right by us. Perfect. Look at that. Completely missed it. Love it. And as luck would have it, we have located our target. Old Blue, get ready. And here we go, firing in three, two, one. Let them rip. Go ahead and go drop down nine knots. Let's see our carnage. Perfect, there we go. Get as many of these IJN submarines out as possible. And that one was right under the rudder, that should. That should finish it, and oh my goodness. Burnt to a crisp, look at it. Perfect, and I'm pretty sure that knocked out its propeller, the one under it, yes it did. Completely knocked it out. Let's go ahead and reverse three. Let's get right over it, we'll drop one more just for good measure, unless it sinks by the time we get there. It hasn't gone down yet, we're right overhead. Let's go ahead and drop one more, go forward nine. Come on, see this thing go down. 
Beautiful, and there's the confirmation. Type B mod one, sinking hell, yes. Oh my goodness, get it out of here. Go ahead and retreat, leave, confirm. One more command point under our belt. We are taking it to the IGN right now, let me tell you. Go ahead and continue. B-17 on its way as well as Task Force 4 to Rennell Island. And there we go, B-17s have officially gotten close to the 10 convoy ship. Let's go ahead, click on the B-17s and let's go into tactical view here. How close are we? Oh my goodness, this is perfect. Exactly what we need. And we know exactly who we're going for as well. We are going after the next big cruise ship. We could go after these guys, but I think it's imperative that we knock these uh, this massive heavy cruiser out, which should be number one, right? Yes, it is. So everybody, go ahead and target number one. You can also start to form up. Line ahead at 100 foot intervals, please. Same with you. Go ahead and form up. Get ready for that. Let's go ahead and identify this really quick for the boys. And this is looking like a Miyoko class heavy cruiser, which works out beautifully. Go ahead and let's go ahead and just give the attack order right bloody now. Attack. Hopefully this is going to put them right on line with it, which will be absolutely glorious. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. Get them set up for the attack. Get ready for the fireworks, hopefully. And here they come overhead, ready to rock and roll. Let's see those things. Drop. Come on, bombs away, bombs away. And there they go. Payload off. And hopefully we're gonna see some disgusting fireworks in about five seconds. Yes! Exactly what we needed. One hit. Come on. Let's get two more. Oh, yes! Yes! That is exactly what we needed. Oh my goodness. Absolutely disgusting. Oh no, but we lost two B-17s. Come on. The rest of you get out of here quick. Quick. Get out of here, and it is sinking the Miyoko out of action after taking 6,000 pounds worth of explosives. No way it was gonna, oh, I mean, just there's just no way. Explosions after the fact, and we've lost another, so that is three B-17s in total that we lost, but my goodness, I'll say right now, I think it was worth it. One hell of a plan, and it pulled together beautifully oh my gosh let's go ahead and see if we can retreat on out of here we can go ahead and leave confirm we have lost three b-17s but another miyoko under our belt another thirteen thousand tons that's three more command points gained b-17s go ahead and rtb get the hell out of here great freaking work everybody gato you can go right around here and start doing a course wow how impressive was that? I I have nothing but good things to say about that B-17 group. They have proven themselves time and time again. Plan of action going forward. We have Task Force 4 heading towards Rennell Island, which is going to be beautiful. And we also have Task Force... Wait, Task Force 4 and Task Force 4? We'll just call this the main task force, our actual fighting task force. Heading over to Gu uh, Guadalcanal area, excuse me. Hopefully going to be looking for that. Uh, task force that's moving around here. We have 26 command points right now. We could build another heavy cruiser and probably send it up that way, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Or we can start building oil tankers and another merchant ship to start trucking the supplies as well as oil to Rennell Island, which also wouldn't be a bad idea. Maybe get like two oil tankers and start shuttling what we need over there. But that's going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know I have. Action-packed as I like it. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the new series and what you would like to see going forward. Maybe we can uh, try and come together and come up with a plan together to actually achieve a victory in the Pacific. 
Likewise, if you did enjoy the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps me out, helps the channel out, and helps get this video out to many others so they can see it. And if you are new to the channel and you liked what you saw and you want to see more on this series, which is going to be coming out, and other video games like it, please consider subscribing. Try and get a video out to you guys once a week at a minimum, but trying to up that to like two to three times a week. But that's going to do it again. In the meantime, I am going to get back at it and start working on the next episode and hopefully sink a few more IJN battleships or something like that. In the meantime, though, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?